Hi, I'm John Storms, and I'm going to go over real quick how you go about installing Perl on your system. Perl is a um, interpreter that interprets Perl script code to make it do something useful. So the first thing you need to know is if you're on a 64-bit operating system. I'm running Windows A1, which is 64-bit, but to make sure you just open up your control panel, keep following the word system around, and right here it says 64-bit operating system x64 base processor. Okay, so next I want to open up my favorite browser, whatever that happens to be for you, and you just search for Google for Active State Perl. This is my favorite for Windows. It is off of SourceForge. It is completely free. You go to download now, and then over here it lets you pick which version. This is where it's handy to know if you have 64-bit. So here I have 64-bit x64. And it just wants my username and my email address and all that. But uh, you don't really have to go and uh, do that because it's already downloaded right here. I double click on it. Next. I accept the agreement. Next. Where do I want it? On mine, I want it on the D drive. So I just switch that. Next. Okay, and this is important. You do want Perl to be added to your path environment, and you do want the Perl file extension association. So anything that is .pl will be run by the Perl interpreter. You install. It does its thing. progress bar of goodness progresses. It's going, it's going. See, I think I started using Perl in uh, 1995. I think that was the first time I wrote my first Perl script. Uh, documentation. Nobody needs documentation. Perl's been around forever. Very mature language. And uh, once this is done installing, one of the next things we're going to do is we're going to sh show you how you can install some modules. Modules are just basically chunks of pre-written code that do different things. And for my one script, these are the two modules that, that I want to get installed. This, The first one here handles sockets. And the next one uh, allows uh, some time functions that are in granularity less than a second. Okay, I don't want to see the release notes finish. Minimize this. Now I want to test to make sure that this really worked. So I open up a command prompt and I simply type Perl minus V and it gives you Perl version so I know it's working. Alright, so the next step is I want to install these additional modules. So people write these for free, give them away. So I come up here to search. I could go find the exact program, but it's I can search for it. It's called the Perl Package Manager. Okay, so I pull that up, and these are all the various packages that are installed. And you, there are all sorts of things. There's, But I am looking for some very specific ones. This one. And so I go over here and I mark it for install. Now I go find the other one. And I'm not sure exactly this one. And I click here to mark it for install. And then I say run marked actions. Ready to install two packages? Yes. It installs them. And that's it. It's done. So now I have everything I need for to run Perl and also to run my little glow with the show player script. So that's how you install Perl. Uh, Active State Perl is actually a SourceForge project in case anybody cares, but that's all there is to it.